Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's messy divorce has now become the subject of a new Max documentary, which is now streaming. While it seems Yi and Kim won't make an appearance in Kim vs. Kanye, The Divorce, the film will feature commentary from the legal counsel of both parties as well as other pivotal figures that helped them meander their tumultuous, years-long divorce which was finally finalized in 2022. What we really learned in this case was that this was a toxic relationship, one of the participants says in the brief, tense teaser trailer. Kim and Yi tied the knot with a lavish wedding in the Tuscany Hills outside of Florence, Italy in May 2014. After months of infighting and other drama, the pair finalized their divorce in November 2022, which ended with Yi agreeing to wire Kardashian $200,000 on the first day of each month in child support payments for the foreseeable future. The pair have four children together ranging from nine-year-old North to the youngest, Psalm who is three. TMZ also reported at the time that although they legally agreed to a 50-50 timeshare split, the kids will spend most of the time at home in Calabasas, with Kimmy had previously tore through six different attorneys during the proceedings, and was even at one point banned from social media after relentlessly bullying Kim's now ex-boyfriend Pete Davidson which included him decapitating the former SNL comedian in the video for Easy with the game. However, the drama has settled in recent months. With he remarrying Bianca Sensori in January. The new couple were most recently seen by TMZ outside the Lobster in Santa Monica in June alongside famed Japanese architect Tadao Ando, where they all went to grab dinner together. The Yeezy mogul had reportedly made plans to visit Sensori's family in Melbourne before their wedding earlier this year, but according to TMZ, Australia's education minister Jason Clare implied they could potentially turn Yi away due to the string of anti-Semitic comments he made last year. I expect that if he does apply, he would have to go through the same process and answer the same questions, Clare told Nine Network TV at the time, lightly hinting at Australia's long-running history of turning away people with anti-Semitic beliefs. The controversy surrounding Kanye West hasn't stopped him from living his life though, and the duo were spotted in June celebrating Ye's 46th birthday party, which involved the guests partaking in an old Japanese tradition called Nayotemori, where sushi is served on top of naked women's bodies. Most recently, Ye was seen partying it up with Travis Scott in Rome for his massive Circus Maximus concert on Monday, August 7. La Flame debuted his latest album Utopia at the show in front of 60,000 Italian fans where he surprised them with a rare appearance from Yeezy, who was a major inspiration behind Trav's new album, and who performed alongside his disciple, Completely Barefoot.